tried two times already and it's giving me an error, so hopefully this one will hold up. Please, please don't crash. Told me about an uncle under the house. The uncle that should be Walter. Uh, which way was I going? Not there. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. A mommy? I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Oh, you won't. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Oh. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Family curse, huh? Why are those chairs on the threes? Nice graphics, man. I'll say this, nice graphics. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Yes, you should. This game wouldn't exist. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. No. Why? But I thought you should know about your family. Your family? I know about mine. And the history you're a part of. What's over there? Do I go straight or... There's something in the water there. What's over there? Do we go back to... Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I am, kinda. Oh, comment. Let me see. <laughs> Hey, uh, Fairy Campo. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thanks for checking the stream. I want to see what the hell that thing is there. If anyone here, uh, uh, saw the um, title from Princess uh, podcast yesterday, and you're here because of that. I that, that, that's awesome. People in these stories believed them for what that's worth. Oh. It's pretty dark right now. Oh. Story driven games, man. Fucking love them. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I enjoyed this stuff a lot more than Call of Duties and Battlefields. I think we've 
been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Mm. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Yeah. Shadow. Was a cat, Oliver, a bunny. Holy shit. Not the bunnies. Christopher Fish. 42 to 47, he lived He lived a long life for a fish. 78, 88, a cat, a cat's was old. Bob. What the hell is that? gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Okay. A dog, Bob. Shots, Shotzi. Shotzi. There's no symbol there, I don't know. Bailey? Lucy, another dog, Daisy. Oh my god, this guy has had a lot of pets. Burpee, Charlie, Coco, Zoe. Okay. Oh my god, what is this? Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. So the grandma designed the cemetery, okay. Molly. The cat. Calvin. Sven. Eddie. And Walter. The uncle. And Barbara the star. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. That's... Walter. Walter and Eddie? She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Nothing here. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. A whole house. Huh. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. My god, this family was big. Gregory, Sam, Gush, the windmill, American flag, nothing there. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Huh. Milton Sanjay Sanjay and Lewis We never found Milton's body so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument not a tombstone Okay so that one was Milton There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now 
Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. Yeah, and be... Find everything out for myself. Yeah, and be totally be confused. I guess. Uh, I don't say I'm confused, but I think I need to play this game at least twice to... Fully get it. I get the trophies, of course. Saving. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing... But... I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Wait, is she... Is she pregnant right now? Yo, this thing better not break. Thank you. America, how do I climb this? Oh, there it is. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Oh, these are like the bird cages. <clears throat> A nice barbecue. Now what's this? They oh, pretty intense. I see. I would never. I, I would never keep something like this in my house. Like that shit is creepy. And the details is crazy. Like how many things there's around. Oh, here we have a. Uh... Oh, here we have the story of Uncle Sam, huh? Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. That's probably where we get out. Whoa! No, I don't, don't want to go in there now. Go back. Well, you got a lot of medals. Photography. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. I see a fucking bear on the ground. Is there a way to turn on the light? It's really dark. Nothing here? <laughs> Nothing here. Interesting. I guess I'm checking out the memories. What's this? Oh, the door is closed. I can't check out the hole. Well, let's see. Selfies? Oh, what the fuck? Don, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These huh. memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm? What? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. She can with the ice and my clothes. Take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Sticking a piss. I not have drunk all that coffee. Huh? Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? 
Some guy who died? Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Come on, focus. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where? I can't see shit. Dad, oh. I, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Shoot. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Are you gonna shoot the thing? Okay. Great shot, Don. <laughs> and she's crying, of course. Oh my God! Come on. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that. Okay. Come on. Oh, Sorry, what? Don, just gotta reset the timer. What? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Oh. What? <laughs> what? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. I got all them. I still don't have Eddie. Then I have Gregory, Gosh, Dawn, Milton, and you. Oh my god. What? Okay. Wait. There's a trophy that says you have to play... What is it? Milt? Let me check. Let me check one moment. Everything hand? No. See John's name and yes. Look at the P holes, Gregory. What is it? Calvin. Okay. Calvin. Did I do Calvin? Oh, I did Calvin already. Shit. I'm gonna check if I can go back to his room. <laughs> and then Gregory. I haven't done Gregory yet, so that... I can try. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh, there's Gregory. Oh, 
my god, it's a baby. Oh my god, I'm gonna play as a baby now. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. Oh, Gregory and Gus are like right next to each other. And this is Oh shit, I can actually I climb this up to the loft after her brothers died. No 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 wait 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 wait. We At checked time, that out. It was as far away as she could get. We check that out after Oh my god, what is this? Is this the house? Imagine your evacuation plan. Clock's not working. I mean, it looks like the only way out is from there, so... Let me check these memories. Divorce contract? Nah, nah, nah! I didn't want you to put it down. Okay, that somebody's divorcing. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny <coughs> was happening, but only he could see it. I knew I was gonna play like a, uh, as a baby. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Randall Tor, this game is for you. Of course. Oh, the letters. Hand over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on. No, let me knock the letters. I want to get the trophy for that. Hello. Shit. I told you I don't want to talk right now. Okay, there you go. I wonder what he saw. Get that lead, get that R. Come on, get that R. Yes. Yes. Got the trophy. What his world was like. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what is this? Woo! Up there, yes. That's what that, that's what actually goes. That's what actually goes on in the fantasy of a of a baby of a kid. Sorry about that, Gregory. Ow! I like that. Maybe if I hadn't called that. Damn it! Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Well, it's uh, her, uh, fighting with the husband or some shit. Oh, the fucking... Opa! I wish you could have told us. Ah, I got the water on again. About the world he saw. But wait! The water is not gonna stop. Oh, what the fuck? About everything. What the fuck is this? 
at the letter. Oh, I'm still in the bathtub. But I'm like a frog now. That was cool. Seventy six, seventy seven. God damn. There's nothing about gushing the trophies if I remember correctly, but. Poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Well, that's a wedding. Uh, no, not really. Woo! What am I doing? My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make his pride. Oh, now I see the people. The thing is getting fast and fast. Oh, what is this? When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh shit! Okay, Gus is the rebel. Gus is the little rebel fuck. All the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Yeah. Oh, down there. Oh. I'm simulating the wind, I see. This is insane. truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I did hey. Until we found you. <sighs> okay. 
Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. So I'm missing Eddie. Sven. K. Huh. Oh, Milton and Lewis. Well, we gotta go up. <sighs> Come on. Da -da 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 -da. What are you? Oh, okay. And uh, this is who? Holy Bible. I hope this doesn't turn out to be something like. I don't know, gone home, where you, where you go below the stairs and there's a freaking, uh, the, the, the table that you can communicate with the ghosts or some shit. A lot of Christianic stuff here, but also India. I don't know, I don't know what will, right, from here I get out, okay, but. Let me see the whole big was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Uh, my mother, my mother always talks about religious religion. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, Sanjay, okay. Oh, I see. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Huh. Damn, this family had quite some things to do. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm not even halfway to the top. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Dawn. Leo is in Milton. Edit. And to see kids in the house again. Basil. Oh, they got a little garden. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Oh my god, I have this chair in Italy. In the countryside. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. What? They, have, they had a classroom? In the house? But it didn't last. Varieties, species, genus, order, of kingdom, classification on living things, Alden Fitch. Great job, books, multiplication table. Our family history, facts or fiction. Scientific method. <laughs> Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, conclusion. Exactly. To teach, to learn. It's in Asia.
Come on, too many religious things though, man. Why? Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Look how tall this thing is. I can go there, or I can go here. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. A room full of paintings. I'm assuming I'll be able to get in there. I must be get. I must get in there. Yep, through the window. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. 3D models. I've seen that before. Oh man, the music! I think it's so creepy that everybody has this little... ...altar... ...thing. There's Milton. Let's check this out. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Oh shit. That's cool, man. I fucking love this. Look! That was awesome. That was very simple, but that was awesome. I was four when Milton disappeared. So he's the one that disappeared. The music, man, the music. Searching for my brother. Then she the, sealed the doors. The music is what is doing it. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Lewis. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Got a trophy. A closer look. I think I got all of them then. All the rooms, all the. Okay, from here I get inside, but to continue. Oh shit. Stairs are broken. I can't go further up. Well, let's go here. Really interesting, uh. 
architecture. It's a boat. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. A pothead. Look at this. <laughs> oh, exit. Yeah, that's how we go out. Oh my god, what the fuck? He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. I guess. Look at the roof, oh my god. That's the house. Or how he sees it. Holy shit. A console. What's that? Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. That's like... <laughs> that's like, um... A fusion between... That's like a PS, PS1 and Nintendo. The controls are like Nintendo, but look. There's the start bottom. The D-pad is PlayStation. Wait, let me, uh, let me share this. I gotta share this. PlayStation slash mean handle hybrid. Love this stuff. High school diploma. Computer, he had all kinds of shit. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh. In the sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, fuck! That shit scared me. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Was that his job? His mind began to... ...wander. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I'm doing two things. I asked him to describe it. Oh, shit. He's working, but he's... He, he started small. Imagining he... a labyrinth. A labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something new. Bats. And toads. And 
things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Yeah, this shit is hard. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. This is hard. But he found something more. Oh my god, what is it? About him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical. Tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. I guess. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh shit. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. <laughs> talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no the longer fish. spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. All the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Yeah. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. I'm kind of getting so into his is. head because now I am. Cutting the he fish, drifting away from our reality. But I'm focused on the on the memory thing. It cannot be. You cannot become automatic. He forgot to go home from the cannery. It's like I'm not even he realizing that I am working while I'm Our playing the thing. He heard rumors of a handsome queen. Handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for a sinister serpent. Sinister serpents. He followed the sound of her electric guitar. 
electric sitar. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west. The imagination is getting the whole screen. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. It took the whole screen. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. God damn. This is insane. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping sand, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard uh, to argue with him. That's what, what that's what wheat does. <laughs> what the fuck is this now? Switch? Yo. We got a switch. We got a Nintendo Switch here. Oh my god. That's not. That's not hypnotic at all. We began to forget the world we know. We began to forget the world we know. What is this? Cannery? Oh, is this the freaking... I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Those are not cut. Fish, fish, and a lot of fish. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's him! He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. That's him, holy shit. This kind of gives me the little nightmare, a little nightmare uh, vibe. Hey, buddy. Jesus, that's depressing. I still thought I could save him. That is so little nightmare. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh, of Palace course. Could be packed with his companions. Including the wise Calico who insisted on advising him. His 
queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. Yo, this thing is gonna kill me! No! I knew it! The rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Damn, that was a long one. God damn! My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. I got everybody. Eddie, I'm missing. But... Oh, exit right there. Okay, going up. Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Nothing here. Gotta go up. Maybe it should have come sooner. The Edit family, what a story, man. What a family. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. I think I'm done here. I think this is the end. Edit. That's my bed. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Holy crap, where are we now? I can't see anything. A gift. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. I get for you in the hall. Said the library. I don't think she knew about the other entrance, or that Edie had a key to it. So I doubt the game wants me to go elsewhere. So let's see what's in here. Please don't be a labyrinth. I hate labyrinths. 
That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Right. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Wow. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Oh, crap. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, so I, it smelled awful. I can actually oh, walk over there. I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I did not. I got turned around. Just keep going straight. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. The deer. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. That's her. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mm. mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Wow. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Me? Hey? I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. 
I like the message. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. I'm flattered. Yes, if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. Don't tell me that's a vagina. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Wow, so even that Edith died. God damn. What a sad story, man. Story of a giant sparrow. For sure, like Dallas. Damn, man, what a sad story. God damn. Creative director. Technical director. I like how. I like how they're doing the credits. Why why doesn't every game does credit credits like this? Oh my ears. And the music man. Animator. <sighs> good game. Absolutely good game. The best, I think the best. Walking simulator. Got another trophy for seeing Jonathan. Gosh, Don Gregory. Good job. To well. Something weird about watching pictures of old pictures of kids that you know today are grown ups. And they made this game. They actually, you know, studied, developed, developed, developed talent. 
got paid, have a life, have a family. That was cool. TN. To replace story option, the replay a story option is now available. Was that like a new game plus or something? Oh wait, I want to see if I can replay Calvin's story. But my thing is, wait, I gotta change this. Okay, just for now, replay a story. Calvin's story. Let me see. There's a trophy about replaying Calvin's story. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barber's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. <laughs> I told him going around was impossible. Loopity loo. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh my god. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. There we go. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Oh my god. Come on. I think he'd already made up his mind. Let's go. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Let's go. There we go. That's the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Loopity loop, I got the trophy. Nice. Let's take clear all balls of the two pool table. Catch two rabbits. Huh. Let's do clear the table. Let's do clear the table. Wait, uh. Replay a story. Barbara.
Barbara. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. This, this, this memory was cool. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale. Inspired by America. Fuck. This most unfortunate family here. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when now that was a great scream it was barbara's father sven he'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room so barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother walter her convention comeback was cancelled <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Get that thing. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Oh, let's clean the pool table. Give me that trophy. Okay, the other trophy was... Catch two rabbits with one, only two swoops. Okay, I can do that. And let the drunken sailor finish his story. Let's do the rabbit thing. Which is... Was Molly. Was Molly.
Molly's story was long too. The freaking cat. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? It's late. Go to sleep. Sweetheart. It's late. I kept eating and eating. Yeah. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And then it was a cat. And suddenly, I was a cat. Come here, bitch. Come here. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Come over here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh shit. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. The mama bird. I gobbled her up. And then I was an owl. Suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. Rabbits. I'll get you. I'll get you. Mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. Got her. She was almost too big to carry. I started and got the trophy. Which one is the fish man? Let the drunken sailor finish his song. <coughs> the drunken sailor. The Walter? I think it's Sam.
Oh, well, I'll check that out later. But for now, bye-bye.